Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Kingfisher's YouTube channel once again. Don't forget, if you like our videos, to subscribe, press the bell icon so we can notify you of new upcoming videos. Okay, today I'm going to be talking about 10 bass hooks that we use and how they actually work and the reason behind them. Okay, starting off, we're going to be doing our wide gape drop shot hook. Okay, um, it's an inline hook with a bent arm. Just going to grab one out of the packet quickly. Okay, so that is what the hook looks like. Like I said before, needle point, micro barb on it, a very wide gape, short shank, and it's got the bent back eye. Another feature, like I said before, is the bent back eye of the offset eye. And the reason they do that is so that you can use what they call a palama knot on it. The next hook I'm going to talk about in the mustard range is the power lock. Okay, so. This is what the power lock pin looks like. I'm just going to give it to you quickly. So this is what the power lock plus looks like. Basically, it's a wide gape hook. Again, needle point, small barb, wide gape. It has lead on it over there, and I'll explain to you why. Plus it's got the actual pin grip for hooking the actual um, worm on. <clears throat> now, what makes this such a unique hook is this weight system that they have. So, obviously, if it's in the front like that, your lure will fall downwards, okay? If you rotate it several times, so in other words, just turn it, turn it, turn it, the heat from the rotation heats up the silicon on the inside. Okay, so what we do is we twist, 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 and we move it to whatever location we want it to be. So if it's in the middle, the lure will fall down like that. So basically, if it's in the middle, the lure will fall vertically down, giving it a natural look. If I want it to go down or under cover, away from me, all I do again, just twist, 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 and move it down to the end, which is over there. So once the lure is actually on, it will slide down. Ideal for creature baits, for going under logs, under jetties and that. That's what makes that so unique. Okay guys, the next one that I'm talking about in the mustard range is the Power Lock Plus Spring. Okay, it's a spring keeper. What it looks like, and I'll just take one out here again. It's the same as the first one that I've just spoken about. The main difference is the spring. So this spring, you'll rotate the bait. Um, generally, it'll be a swim bait. So you'll actually twist it on. It holds a lot tighter than the pin, okay? So the main feature is the spring. Everything stays exactly the same. Obviously in the mustard range, you've got needle point, small barb for better hook penetration, rotating um, weight. And again, it's got silicon inside it, so you have to warm it up to move the actual weight up or down. And again, the reason we have this is so if you have it in the front, it will fall down to, it'll fall down head first. If you move it to the middle, it'll fall horizontally. And again, if you rotate it and move it to the back, um, especially if you're using creature baits, it'll go down, it'll go backwards. So last for fishing under logs, into vegetation, um, for piers, jetty, stuff like that, it'll uh, move down into it. Okay, so that is the main feature. Again, just run through it, is the spring the weight that you can move, and of course, wide gape, 
ideal for big creature baits and that. So there it is. Obviously, once you stop rotating it, that's where it'll stay once it gets cool. Okay, so that's it. That's a power lock plus with spring. Okay, the next hook that I'm talking about is the Impact um, Grip Pin. Um, it is an ideal hook for open water fishing. I'll just grab one quickly and show you. Okay, so that is pretty much what uh, the Impact uh, hook looks like. It's got a hook keeper over there, which securely holds your um, fluke or any of your baits on that you want to use. It has no weight on it, okay? So it's ideal for open water fishing, weightless, stuff like that. It's got a wide gape. Um, all these mustard hooks are ba basically black nickel that I'm talking about at the moment. Needle point. When we talk about black nickel, this is the mustard black nickel, which is four times more uh, rust repellent than a normal black nickel hook. Okay, so this hook is ideally fished, open water, weightless. Um, you can Carolina rig it, you can Texas rig it. Um, it's one of those hooks that is very versatile. There it is there guys, impact. Um, pin grip hook. The next hook I'm talking about in the mustard range is the mustard um, grip pin hook, which is that hook over there. I was going to grab one out there. It is a two extra strong hook. In other words, it is twice as strong as a conventional bass hook. It's ideal for big bass fishing. Again, I'll just go through the features. Um, needle point, it's got a big strong barb on it, make it more secure so the bass don't come off. It's a J shape. Um, what makes it unique is that this part of it here has a PVC coating on it. Okay, It's got a R which will not allow your bait to come off. Okay, So for those big baits that you're going to use for the big fish, that little part over there is ideal as a hook keeper. Um, it is weighted over here, uh, so it gives it a little bit more of a natural sinking motion. But that is it, a wide gape, as you can see, J-hook, um, ideal for those big uh, baits that we use for catching those, those bigger bass, guys. Okay guys, the next one in the mustard range of bass hooks is the, um, the grip pin hook. Okay, the wide gape grip pin hook. Grab one of them quickly and show you what they look like. Okay, so that is it. Basically, the eye is in line with the, the point is in line with the eye of the hook. Again, it's got the PVC coating on it, which basically helps hold on any soft plastic that you might have. And again, it's got a little hook keeper over there at the back of that actual hook. Features a wide gape, ideal for big soft plastic uh, lures that you might be using. You can fish at Carolina, Texas, weightless if you want. Um, Basically needle point and again small barb for better hook penetration. It's a two extra strong hook. They're very important for fishing through that heavy cover that you got. Okay, like I said before, extra wide gape, EWG. Uh, obviously the name comes from uh, the wide gape that they actually have on it. Um, and like I mentioned before, it has got the non-slip coating on, makes it ideal for larger soft plastics guys guys the next one in the mustard range is the mustard offset worm there we go this hook is ideal for thin profile baits and because it is a thin low profile bait it's ideal for fishing through weed and um, areas where there's a lot of structure 
Okay, so it'll track nicely through high cover area, areas that have a lot of vegetation. Um, it'll go through nicely, it won't snag up as easily. Like I said before, it's a low profile hook, it's one extra strong, it has a Z shape hook keeper on it, 90 degrees, uh, to stop any of the actual worms or soft plastics from tearing off. So that is 90 degrees, ideal for soft plastics, the thin soft plastics. There we go guys, lovely hook again, it's got a needle point, small little barb on it, standard little uh, U shape and again it's ideal for those smaller bass, smaller thinner low profile worms, that's it. Guys, the next one in the mustard range is the Mega Bite, it's a wide gape hook, okay just grab one out here quickly. Okay, so that is it there, uh, it's the Megabyte version. The feature that makes it very important is the wide gape. It's in line, in other words it goes in line, the point is in line with the actual eye of the hook. Um, this hook can be fished weightless, um, in other words with big profile baits like for instance flukes, um, creature baits, stuff like that. Got a wide gape, ideal for thick plastic lures. Um, again, it's got our standard Z shape on it, so it holds the bait on nicely. It has the mustard um, black nickel finish, four times less rust resistant. Very important that for all of our mustard hooks. So they last longer. Um, needle point, small barb. The smallest one is the one which I actually have in my hand here, which can be fished um, drop shot style. Obviously the bigger ones are ideally fished weightless on bigger flukes. You can fish it uh, Carolina, Texas, or like I said before, weightless. That is the Megabyte guys, an ideal hook for fishing open water as well. That's it, the Megabyte. Okay, so on the Megabyte, we have got it in black nickel as well as in our red finish. And I'm just going to open this one and show you what the red one looks like. Okay, so there is the red. And guys ask why red? Red basically looks like blood in the water. When you rig it, it'll look like the belly shine of a, a um, small profile bait or a large profile bait like your flukes adds a little bit more bling to it. That is the red finish that mustard do. Okay. Next eye on the mustard uh, um, hooks would be the ultra lock, which is this one here. I'm just gonna quickly grab it. It's the same as the megabyte, basically. And the reason I say that, it features, and there it is there, it features the Z-lock um, shape, so that part of it there is the Z-lock feature and that securely holds your soft plastic worm on. Again, you can use a, a um, small profile lure on it or one with a very wide um, profile, you know there's a very thick bait, uh, creature bait, uh, fluke, stuff like that. The nice feature is that it has a wide gape on it. Okay, it's got a wide gape on it um, for a big profile bait. Again, needle point, um, mustard's um, black nickel finish just for better um, rust resistance. And again, it's got that Z-lock, which is the feature that makes the biggest uh, feature on it. And again, it's a very long R shape, okay, secure. And there's nothing worse than having your soft plastic picked up and when you strike, the, the plastic actually comes off. This will securely hold it on. This hook is best fished Carolina or Texas as well as weightless. Ideal, ideally fished through heavy cover. Okay. 
A lovely hook. Okay, here we go. One of my favorite hooks that I use for catching big bass is our big mouth. Big mouth, like me, big mouth. Okay, so what it looks like is that shape there. It's got the Z-lock um, feature on it for those big plastics. It, the Z-lock basically prevents you tearing your plastic uh, soft plastic off of your hook. Wide gape, um, needle point, plus micro barb on it. Okay, this is a one extra strong hook, so it's ideal for fishing in heavy cover. Okay, it's a strong hook, um, ideal for big soft plastics, guys. This hook is best fish either weightless, Texas, or Carolina. Like I said, it's a heavy duty, big mouth hook. One of my favorites for catching those big bass. Fish it in structure, guys. Don't be scared. Lovely, strong hook. Obviously, because it's a stronger hook, you can use heavier nylon or braid uh, to pull those fish out of the heavy structure. There we go. Big bite, big mouth. Go for it. These bass hooks are, these mustard bass hooks are all available from leading uh, fishing tackle stores nationwide as well as any of our Kingfisher branches that you go to. Don't forget to like, subscribe and press the bell icon.